Welcome to another tutorial for the Harrier. Uh, this time we're going to be looking at the JDAM and looking at both the next waypoint button to cycle through targets and then the ODU to select specific targets. I've just had a spot of lunch at the Burj Al Arab but I'm ready to go so let's crack on. maximum load for a vertical takeoff is probably around two and a half thousand pounds. Here we are over double that but are very low on fuel and they're just about scraping into the air with seconds. water and seconds. combat power. So we're armed with four 500 pound JDAMs and a pair of 1000 pound JDAMs and magically we've also refueled. We have confirmation that there is a Silkworm missile battery on Abu Musa which is directly ahead and potentially some surface vessels. Let's go straight to the teapot to take a look. And remember, sensor select down twice to enter teapot mode. Roughly locate the target with a TDC and press TDC action to get out of snowplow and teapot designate. Then right long to change it to the IR view and left short to change the field of view. We can then find the targets with a TDC and the zoom buttons on the MFD, which by the way I have mapped to my HOTAS. We're now going to mark all of the silkworm launchers as targets of opportunity. And the radar. Now we're going to scour the entire island to see if we can find any ships. And amazingly, I seem to have stumbled across a corvette and what looks like a fast attack boat. So we're going to mark them as targets opportunity five and six. And another pair which we are going to mark as targets seven and eight. To prepare for the attack, we will select Master Arm on, air to ground Master Mode, select the founded pound JDAM and take the fusing out of safe and note the new HUD symbology. Make sure that you have the first target selected and I'll then press waypoint increment long. And that should bring up N0 on the hood and the range marker. Note that your current target will revert to T0. You should press waypoint increment now to change it back to T1 which will save you forgetting at the next pickle. When the range marker gets to the 6 o'clock position, that is the maximum range of the bomb, but with a low probability of kill. 
this will increase to 100 at the 3 o'clock position and drop back to zero as it approaches 12 o'clock. In addition to the HUD symbology, the AHSD gets a red line which shows the maximum and minimum drop ranges. As we have four bombs to drop, we need to calculate when best to start dropping. Bearing in mind it takes a second to release each JDAM and we'll also be manually cycling the targets. So I'll start around 70%. Pickle, waypoint increase. Pickle, waypoint increase. Pickle, waypoint increase. Pickle. And the first four family pound dams are en route. Three kills and one seriously damaged targets. Maybe I should have spent a little bit more time in the teapot getting that target in a little bit more accurate. I um, should always aim at the base of the target. So let's have our thousand pound J downs and we're not going to be attacking the fast attack bolts, we're going to instead attack the two corvettes. Let's take a quick break to explain the ODU. When you select the JDAM from the AHSD or stores page, you'll get three options on the ODU. Targets, term and fuse. For now, we're just interested in targets, so we'll press ODU1. From where we could select one or more entries from targets one through four or press ODU1 again to go to the next page where we can pick targets five through to eight, and on the final page, targets nine and 10. Noting that target 10 is represented by an X. You should also remember that the ODU display disappears after a few seconds, so you might have to reactivate it. So, just to double check, our next targets are target 5 and target 7. I'll do that by cycling through the target points and referencing what I see on the teapot. So 5 and 7 are confirmed, we'll uh, punch that into the ODU and you will see in the centre of the HUD uh, the N also has 5 and 7 to indicate they are our selected targets. With practice, you might want to reduce throttle slightly after the first bomb release to minimise the distance that you approach the target, or even fly a slight parabola to ensure that the bombs land at a similar time if attacking vehicles which might flee. 
being very careful of course not to hit your own bombs. Now we just have to press and hold pickle until both bombs have been dropped. You can use either method of course. Uh, you could use the next waypoint method here and simply skip from 5 to 7 using the next waypoint switch and we could have used the OCU method um, here for sequential targets. Typically I think the ODU method is normally easier however the computer is in control of the bomb release and that could be a problem if all of a sudden you get spiked and need to break for cover quickly. another successful attack I have plenty of time to pop back to the hotel and get an ice cold beer So, if you like this video, please hit like and subscribe, and I will see you next time. Waitress, two beers, please.